Hey everybody, how you guys doing today? I realized yesterday after the video was done because I was so concerned it was so long, I forgot to take off the rubber cement. So before I get on to what I was going to do today, here's the rubber cement piece. And I'm gonna bring you in a little bit. And you just go in with your finger. And you want to make sure it's really dry. Like you want to do this, like I recommend the night, like, like before you go to bed or if you're going out for the day, do it beforehand or um, whatever. Cause you really, it does make the difference when everything is completely dry. Oh, I know I have another piece in here somewhere. I'm just gonna, there we go. You can see it cause it's a little bit darker where I put it but you just roll it. You can also use a, um, let's see, before I go off, you can also use a, a eraser if you don't wanna use your fingers. And there you go. Oh, it even has more here. I must've did a big part over here. And you can see it's not taking off any of the paint, only where you had the rubber cement. So, garbage. you can see that's what you get. And all that is, is uh, Elmer's Craft Bond. It's, you can get the photo safe, acid-free rubber cement, non-wrinkle. And it makes a wonderful masking. So this is for Liz Roski. She asked me to do this ages ago, and I um, want to just say what I did was, because this is a continuation of my last video, all I did was put down a coat of acrylic paint. I let it dry completely. Then I put in my rubber cement just for the sake of um, experiment to show you. I... Um, put it down where I wanted. I let that completely dry. And then I paint it over with my next color and let that completely dry. And then you saw me remove it. This is great for when you do um, any type of painting. If you're doing watercolor, acrylic, pen, uh, cre uh, pencil, color pencil, Whatever, if you want, if you do your sun and you want it to stay there and not have any other colors on it, but you want the sky to go, or if you want to do some dots, and we'll use this in the future coming up. I have a few ideas just to give you a couple ideas of what to do with this. And it's very inexpensive to buy. You can buy it at the craft stores. You can buy it. Um, the dollar store probably even has its own uh, kind of brand there, but it's really fun and easy to do. So that's where we got with that. So forgot to do that and as I turned it off yesterday I thought right now for the day we will do a journal page and we're just gonna have fun with this journal page you can see my I have <laughs> so many let me move the camera back a little bit more so y'all can see better now I have a lot of um stuff pages together I have you know this is when I don't put the papers in between for it to dry. You know, for when I go on to my next page. And I play. This is a crackle thing I did. And I'm sure I've shown you this before a million times. You know, so it is important to put your papers in between. Will I be doing that today? However, no. So, <laughs> I don't feel, I threw my other papers away. I was cleaning up and did not realize. So what I'm going to do is, this is a page that's all ready gessoed, as you can see. And I am going to just do a fun, um, just a fun little piece on both of my pages. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use one page, just one page. I'm going to use this as one page. Um, also, if you don't have gesso, you can use your white paint or you can use this base coat that we're going to do um, first as your gesso, so to say. Um, I have uh, videos on how to make your own gesso. Uh, you can find them clearly anywhere on the um, YouTube or Internet. Um, 
it, uh, you know, gesso is great, but all gesso really is, is a um, base. So what happens is, because you can see, like, I didn't gesso everywhere on here. So you'll get like a different kind of look um, where I don't have it gessoed. You'll see it sink into the paper more. The first coat or the gesso, whether you use white paint or not, um, what it does is it helps the paint sit on top and not soak in. So I don't know if this is gesso or white paint. It could be either one. doesn't matter to me. I'm going for it. I just thought this would be something fun to do and that you guys can do, you know, along and just let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? Um, first, I'm going to lay down some dark green. Or no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a yellowish. I'm going to do yellow. So I think I'm going to go and just kind of, because I want this to be square shaped somewhat. And that's all I'm going to put down. I'm going to grab my brush. And I usually wet my brush before I go to do it, but I'm not going to worry about it today. And I'm just going to go and paint. Like I said, if you don't have gesso, no worries. Because this is really going to be your barrier because you're putting your first um, layer down. And I'm not going to go all the way on to, out to the outsides. You'll see why. If you want to, by all means, this is yours. You know I have a... I don't have it sitting here, of course. Let's see if I have a piece of paper here. I do. I have a piece of cardstock here, and all I'm going to do is the rest of my yellow. I'm going to start a back page or a page that later I can rip up to get the rest of that paint off so it doesn't go to waste. And that'll be my little cleaner, and then I'll just dip my, take my brush and my water to rinse the yellow off. I'm going to take my heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. Works just as good. And I'm not caring that some of the, the, I apparently had drawn or done something underneath this. Tried to cover it with white or whatever. And I really don't care that it's coming through. We're just art journaling. And it's to be fun. And I just want to give this a quick try because right now we're making our base, like our background. And I'm just giving this a head start to help dry it. I'm going to hold it on just for a few seconds in each area on the page. And then do it here. Okay. And then I will take my paper towel. That's why I save old icky paper towels. Let me move you a little closer in. We will get this camera right one of these days, I swear. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna dry off my brush that was in the water. And you're gonna hear my dog. It's my Japanese chin. Uh, oh, what mix is he? Pekingese mix. He's way more Pekingese than Chin. Therefore, <laughs> he has a temperament. He doesn't bite us. He's not mean, but he does not like anybody near. He fills his mouth with food. Like, so he looks like a chipmunk and walks around the house. And then we'll go find a place and spit them all out and then guard them all day. So no big, and if anybody even walks near him, any other dog, he will. That was just some pink, hot pink. We're gonna bring around. And you can wet your brush if you want to have like, you know, a little bit more of a watercolor look. It doesn't matter. But yeah, he, uh, he likes to, he likes to balk. This just gives it a little bit of a spreading around. That's it, nothing, 
nothing fancy. Didn't have much left on there. So now I'm going to hit that with my gun one more time. You know what I might do? I might hit that with a little bit of water before I do that. Let's give it a little bit of texture. We'll just take our paper towel. If we have, if you're using a paper towel like me that's left over, find a dry spot. If you need to use a new one, go ahead. But let's just add some texture. Look at that texture just from putting that in. And we're just add, we added some texture and I'll hold that up so you can see. Look how great that texture is. So that is awesome. Now in this yellow, I'm going to run through some, just the teeniest bit of uh, this is just called grass green it's folk art but any green a darker green and i'm just going to put a few dots because i just want it kind of through and i'm going to spray it with a little bit of water the middle because that also because we're just running it through and it's okay if you accidentally blend some of your um pink in there just because we're going to use our paper towel, or we can go over it if we want. But this will just blend. Where is the dog hair coming from? I just rinsed it. Oh, okay. Plus my cats get in here, I swear. I have more animal hair in here. And I don't know how, because I usually only have my one dog in here. But lately the cat's been wanting to lay in here. This one dog is probably, it's probably Spyro at my door, trying to get in. So I'm just doing a little bit of green. And you can easily clean off your brush, like I just did, and clean up that pink if it goes down. It doesn't matter if it blinds, it really doesn't, because you, uh, a little bit more, I think. You know, you kind of want it to. And you see that green mixed with the yellow because the yellow is not completely dry. Just kind of gives you this really cool. And what we'll do is, leave it like that, and then I will take my yucky paper towel. And just add some texture. We're just gonna go on and dry off most of that green, but so we see a little bit of that green. And you see some of the pink came off um, from the sides, and that's okay. All right, now I'm gonna dry this, and then we're gonna move on to the fun part. I'm going to try to make sure your yellow is as color as uh, dried as you uh, got it. And I love how, if you can see here, how some of the yellow went into the pink all the way around and some of the pink into the yellow. You're just kind of blending it together. I really want this layer dry as well as you do because we're going to put something on top of it and we really don't want a lot of the yellow coming through because I want the color to be solid. So, give it like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sketch in very quickly. I'm going to leave this cool for one second. I'm going to sketch in just something funky. 
like a big, remember this is one canvas, so we don't care. We're gonna make a big circle. Can you see that? You'll see the circle when I go in. We'll make them have three fingers. We'll make them have three toes. Nothing fancy. He's just a crazy little, little kind of thing. We'll give him a little hand here. I'll decide what to give him after. Give him big eyes, and I'll hold this up when I'm done. Big eyes. kind of it and then maybe we'll do hmm, maybe I'll do these and then do a heart and then we'll do the word up here I'll do it light just so I because I don't know how I'm going to do it and we'll do up there love so let's see if you guys can see this. And you can make it any kind of monster or picture that you want. Love's up there sketched in very lightly, but this is what we're gonna do. I'm trying to gonna, gonna try to pick complementary colors. We don't need this line in here for his hand. Now, you could do one of two things right now. Um, I don't necessarily need that in there either. You can go in. Now, if I were doing a portrait or I were doing something that I was selling or whatever, I would go in and lightly erase all this. This is my art journal. I'm not too concerned about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some dark blue, and this is called Cobalt, Cobalt Blue. And this is just Liquitex Soft Body. I buy these, they have them at AC Moore and at Michael's on sale. Sometimes you get two, four, or I'll go in with a coupon and just buy one color. I do the rainbow, you know, my thing, Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, white. And I buy the basics of all these when they're on sale, um, or as I have the money or, you know, whatever, if you can only buy one a month, you know, you start out and that's how you build up and then you can mix four other colors. You know, then, you know, if you can at any point, you go in and you buy, you know, whatever the extra colors are. But sometimes it's good just to have the basics because then you can mix them. And, you know, it is what I call fun. So I'm going to move a little bit closer. It's so funny on camera. It's like back. It's backwards. Okay, so I'm just going to go in. And I'm going to start at my line, and I'll clean all that up with a marker, because I'll go in and outline. I'm just going to paint over the eyes and the mouth. I'm not worried about it. It was just to give you an idea. If you don't want to, don't. And you don't have to worry about completely covering this in, because you want some of that to come through. Because it just gives him character. Now he's probably going to need two coats. On some of it. So what I'm going to do is. Leave him dry. Put my paint on my brush in there. This is just me dabbing it down to get different looks on my paper, because like I said, I'll use that as a background. 
for something else I'll do because I'm going to do another kind of thing on here, not on here, but on a paper and send to somebody. So, um, oh God, I, I think I'm getting my shingles back. I'm sorry. I don't need too much information. Okay. Um, I, I, I swear shingles and me, best friends, best friends. Everybody wants a best friend. Mine is shingles. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to dip. And I'm just going to go in and do around his fingers. Now we know he has like, a, we're going to have, you know, I'm going to lighten that up there. So you'll be able to see it. That's his hand. But like I said, we're also going to highlight. So don't worry about it. Just do, this isn't perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect because perfection does not exist. And not only that, it's supposed to be fun. And it's fun if you have kids or grandkids and you're sitting and you're playing and you want to make creepy, you know, crazy little things. This isn't necessarily creepy. This is just the little guy. This is fun for people who can't really draw or are learning how to draw, but want to have fun art journaling. This is it, baby. So I thought I'd do this today just so everybody can kind of have a little break from the mixed media. I know not everybody's doing the mixed media with me. I know a lot of people are, and I'm so thrilled, but I know some aren't. So maybe you just want to get a piece of paper, whether it's printer paper, or if you have an art journal, we're going to be making an art journal soon. I keep telling you that. I promise we are. Um, I'm getting there. Um... Now that my, especially now that my skeleton guy is done, because that's one last thing, you know. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we have the basic of our little dude. So now I'm going to go back in with my blue and I'm just going to paint over just the insides and blend them feet in. And you're still going to see some of the yellow and green underneath because yellow and blue make green. So a little bit might have probably, might have probably been still wet. Who cares? It's a cool look. Kind of blend them. If you want to go back in with the feet and cover the, cover the feet more, be my guest. I'm not. I'm going to wipe this on my... I mean, we're getting, you know, we're getting a background here. How fun is that? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my brush in my water. I'm going to close this. I am going to blow him dry for a momento. Not all the way, right? I mean, I'm not going to waste my time all the way. We're going to work on our heart thing there. But just to give it kind of a head start. If I don't know how good well you can hear me with me doing this. If you want to take your paper towel, I will grab a new one. If you want to grab your paper towel and fold it, you know, I always fold it and just set it down and give it a push. So we're fairly dry, so that's that's good. To get some texture, you can, but no texture came up, so I'm not complaining. Now I'm going to go in with some, I'm so itchy, itchy. Now we're going to go in with some red for our hearts. And I'm going to do the heart first and then decide what color I'm going to do the little boopies down there. And if I'm even going to keep them that color. Now I just take my paint and go over my graphite, you know, my pencil. If you want, you can erase it. I don't care. It's only, it's only, um, yard journal. It's your fun place. Mm. 
no messing up in here, just having fun. And again, like I tell you, go to AC Moore Michaels for if you don't have acrylic paint, um, usually for $5. And if you bring your coupon, you can get a whole kit of, I'll have to see if I have any here, um, of like acrylic paints that come in like the case. I don't know if I have any. Let me look real quick while it dries for a second. Damn, am I itchy. These are pro arts. I have to look in my other room. These are the pro art ones. These are $5. You get 18 paints. These are watercolor ones that come in the thing. These are great to use for if you're making um, sprays and all that, but they also come in acrylic. They're called pro art. Uh, AC Moore sells them, and you can get these in acrylics also. They come in tubes, and for five, six bucks, you use your coupon, you get it for three bucks, you get 18 colors. You can't go wrong. And they're just as good. You know, we use uh, watercolor from Crayola, and I have to see, I, I've i given away a lot of what I've had. I know I have an oil color set, but I like that. That's water mixable. Hmm. I don't know. Leave, leave a comment below and let me know how many of y'all do not have acrylic paints and would like them. I can put another coat on here now that this is probably dry. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that you most of you have acrylic paints that like to acrylic paint, or are you just starting out? I would like to know. Right. Obviously, I need to let that dry to put another coat on, so I'm going to real quick just dry it because I'd like to clean my brush off and put the paint away. But every time you go to the AC Moore Michaels Joann's, some people have Hobby Lobby, I don't have that, go in and see what paint's on sale. And like I said, sometimes um, AC Moore, a lot of the times, AC Moore or Michaels has their brand on sale. I believe AC Moore Craft Smart, you can get two for a dollar. And do your Roy G. Bibbs black and white. That's how we start it. Now, I'm drawing this awfully close so I'm getting texture, but I don't really care. It's hard for you to see, but I'm just going to plop on a little bit more there. You get the idea that it's a heart. And that's what we'll stick with with that. And maybe I'll just take the rest of the red that's on my thing and kind of frame out a little bit. It's almost like the pink color when it thins out. Just to add some red. And if it's not blending in, just wet your brush a little bit and why it blends in. It's no big deal. Just helps you, you know, get that off there and it adds a little bit of a new color and some dimension. Okay, so what am I gonna do with those? Hmm. I have some, I know most of you probably don't have this, but you can use a blue glitter. This is a, a fabric paint, but it's a, I don't know who that is calling me, we'll just pretend not. You can use any color. This is like a metallic, um, it's from Stuart Gill, it's a Byzantine, and it's a fabric paint, but I use it on, I use all kinds of paint. That's why I have so much tulip um, sprays and all kinds of stuff. Paints and everything. I just use everything for paint. That's why it's mixed media. Blue might be a little, yeah. Maybe I'll use blue to kind of highlight him. Maybe we'll just highlight him. Why is that water dripping? Maybe we'll just give him some highlights and his little piggies. So if you don't have this, it's no big deal. We'll pick a different color for that chain. Maybe we'll just do black. Everybody has black and you can use a black marker. Sharpies are great if um, they are alcohol uh, markers if you don't know that. So are Bix. So all the Copics and all that kind of thing, which I went nuts on thinking I had to have, and they're nice. You can use your 
Sharpies are your big markers. And you have alcohol markers, baby. Buy yourself a blender from the Copic section. Or the other ones I love are, uh, which are my favorite, Spectrum Noir. AC Moore has them all right now on clearance for $7.88. I don't know if they have new colors coming out or maybe they're just not selling as well as the Copics. I don't know. But they are awesome. I'm just doing some highlights here on this. Like I said, you can use a lighter blue if you have a lighter blue or a glittery blue or no blue. But I am while I have it, while I have it out, I'm going to draw his eyes again. Give him some big eyes. Do it like that. Yeah, I might do those little things by the heart, just black. Okay, so that's that. His mouth will be red. Just set this over here. Oh God, wait my... Just gonna, like I said, just wipe it off. These are great colors together, actually, the white and the... Okay, I think what I might do is get my bigger brush that I had prior, put a little bit of yellow on, just the littlest bit. I'm going to water it down right here, just a little bit of water. I got to change my water obviously because it's a little green because of all the colors mixing. And I think I'm just going to kind of go in and just swipe. And you'll see what I mean, because it's a little dark. I really wanted it to be more yellow, but my water's dirty. <laughs> I wish I could afford one of those things, um, those water ones that you like push the button and the water, the dirty water goes down. And then like fresh water comes in. I would never have to move. Which that's not good either, but you know what I mean. Sometimes you can really use that help. So I'm just going to go everywhere where it's that dark blue. Kind of leave the outline darker, even though we're going to be outlining that. I'm going to give him his arms. I'm going to give that a second and then I'm going to bl blot it. A second to dry. And then just lift it up. Yeah. Just because it adds a little bit more dimension. It's kind of hard for you to see, but when I bring it up, you'll see it. Now I'm going to figure out his eyes. So we shall take some black. Maybe I'll just use this one easier. Let's start with our little brush. Draw it off. Get some black. We're going to do his pupil black. I'll leave that dry and now I'm going to take and just do kind of like a slanted mouth and give them 
two little teefies. Because he's a happy little bugger. And then while it's drying, I'm going to go in here. Now I could use my marker if I wanted to. And these don't have to be any certain shape. It's just the point of it's hanging down. Like I did this one a circle. Hope you guys are doing this along with me. Or when I'm done, you guys do it. And show me pictures. I love when you guys, I love getting tagged or when you guys send me pictures. Love it. And then we'll just put a couple dots up here, like so he's holding it. Very, very cool. Alright. Now, what color do I want to do? His eyes. I know. My favorite color in the world is called Gecko from Ceramicoot. I think I might even have a new bottle in here. I keep hiding this one from my daughter because she, she likes to use it. Rinse out your brush good. Give it a dry. Give it a shake. Go in. Just be careful as you're painting around the black that you just did. Probably should use a smaller brush, but I'll go in and do that with the second coat. I hope they didn't discontinue. I thought. I know they discontinue a couple of colors that I like of certain things. I hope this not is not one because I love this color. It's like so beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Now it's going to be a little darker, obviously, over a dark blue, but I don't care. I want him to have green eyes. I think I want his pupils smaller. Yeah. A little smaller. Yeah. See how you change things as you go? And yes, that looks a mess because it has to dry. I think I'm going to bring it all the way out here though and just trace it with the black. And then I can color that in. Put this on my paper, whatever's left. Rinse that. I'm going to give that a second to dry while I put on. I think I'm going to use some periwinkle. I think it's called peri uh, light blue violet. I'll just grab a new little brush here. Now you can do this with watercolor pencils, color pencils, whatever you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, we don't have to wait all day for it to dry. So we get it perfect. So I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just fixing this in because I want to give him, I'll let him in his black. And I got to put a little white in his eye and go over his green again. <clears throat> so, does it look a little crazy? Uh huh. But that's okay. 
because we're going to put his other part of his green in. And the fun thing is you can do, you know, like I said, you can do colored pencils, watercolor pencils, whatever. I'm just going to go in, give him a little bit more. I'm not going to worry too much about anything because like I said, you know, if you want to sit and dry it, dry it. I'm not going to worry about it. We're on camera here now. I'm not going to make you sit while I dry it. I'm just going to put on this green eye. It's supposed to be fun. I think that's all I want. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's going to be drawing right now. And then what I'm going to do is let me grab eh, my black marker. And we're just going to go in and we're going to trace. You can use black paint, but because I'm on video and I don't want to take that long, that much time out of your life, I'm just going to use a marker, which you can also, but you can also use black paint. And it would look just as good. We know his light goes up there. And if you trace as well as me and you get the <laughs> gaps, just color them in. And then the little heart, I'll trace. We'll write the word love up here. So I'm just going to keep that as that. And then we want to put his legs up a little bit. If you want to give him little, you know, details of his little toes going up, little nails, whatever you want. And then we're going to go and we're going to trace. I'm going to make his pupils a little bit bigger than I did and take them down to the blue. I'm just going to carefully outline. his eyes remember he's a little creepy monster so perfection is not needed and I want to now decide what color am I gonna put maybe I'll do I have this fluorescent green green neon from artist loft I think I might Just use a little bit of this in here. Kind of, oh, well, the water didn't come through. God dang. I hate when the brushes hold that water. This will just lighten it up a little bit. I'm going to have to get my towel and wipe that up. I 
I'll just put little dots on it so it, I don't have to mix it with the black. It'll just dry. It'll take a while to dry, but oh well. The water must be really dirty. Here's what I'll do. I'll also go over the eye part with a little bit of the fluorescent. Just to add a little bit of, to have a little shine in there. And I'm just blobbing it in just for some texture because obviously and when it dries it'll look cool. He'll have crazy goofy eyes. But you don't have to do it like this either. This is just the way I'm doing it because it's the way it's working with me right now. So we have that and then I'm gonna wipe this off because I know if I don't I'll try to open it again and it will not work. And we're about done. I'm just going to do one more thing. And that is add a little bit of the white. I'm just going to take my lid off my white. This is just a big thing of the folk art white. I always suggest to get that in big, in big uh, bottles, black and white, because I go through those like crazy. So if I have a coupon and have a couple extra bucks, I'll buy the big one. So that, and I'm just going to take white and I'm going to go in and paint his little teeth. Again, this will probably take a couple coats, but I'm not going to bore you. If you have a white gel pen or a white marker, you can go in and definitely use that. And I'm going to go over right here as his eyeball. And of course when that dries I'll go over it one more time. Or maybe not. You know, if you want to give them little claws, give them little claws. Just little. Just a fun little thing. And there you go. If you want to add them a nose, add them a nose. If you want to give them some, you know, some highlights, some shadows, just go ahead in and put it in and. Give them little highlights where you want it. Rub it with your finger. So he has some highlights. You know, top his feet. It doesn't matter. And there I got yeah, I don't have a nose for him, but we can just give him a little highlight there. Put wet your finger a little bit if you want it to rub more. And then the last thing I like to do is just give him his little dot in his eye for reflection. And he's done. So let me just put the lid on this and show you. And there you go. And that's your journal page, real fun. If you want to take your marker or paint or whatever and go around and kind of make, you know, some fun, you know, like a frame type thing, you can do that. You can go and put like dots down it. You know, you could do whatever you want. You can outline his little 
claws. It's up to you. This is a fatter pen, so it's gonna. You could do whatever you want. And there he is. You could put a little smiley face in the little heart. Look. Hello. And you can highlight that with white. So we just made just a quick art. I mean, it wasn't exactly quick. It's almost an hour I took me, but um, you got a nice little art journal page there of just playing around, nothing fancy, and uh, just having a little bit of fun. So I thought I'd give everybody a break in the mixed media uh, paintings that I know some people aren't doing, and maybe you want to do a little art journal. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you try it. Hope you po uh, tag me so I can see it. And I hope you all have a great day. Be kind to each other. You never know what battles somebody else is fighting. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.